Alright, what's up you guys? Today, gonna do, actually gonna change, or well, actually gonna most likely hook back the horn, but most of you guys with a, have a 2500 Tiburon, most of you, I'll see a lot of people's, I haven't really seen that really good of a DIY, but this will be my DIY and how to actually, you know, do the horn with the, the FM market steering wheel. I have an NRG, as you guys can tell, there is no actual horn to this just yet. But, so what I'm gonna do is remove this, all the bolts on here, and we're gonna go get right to it. So, mind this, you guys. Oh. As you guys can tell, this is all hex screws right here. So, and it does take some little bit patience. But, you know, just keep this in mind, you know. It'll be worth it. I mean, everybody needs a horn, especially, especially you get some crazy driver nowadays, so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, sorry about this, you guys. Oh, man. And you guys want to make sure you guys put the put all these screws in a safe place at least. Let me just move the camera a little bit. Oh, sorry guys, but the I can't. The, my camera is actually hooked up, actually hanging right on my visor. So please. So, couple more screws to go. Two more. Sorry about this, you guys. We may be able to try to fast forward this thing a little bit later. Alright, you guys. And this is where the horn button and the whole signal will actually just come out. But this is how I actually set mine up. So you guys have... Uh, let me see if I remember again. Because one of these is the positive and the negative. So let me just come check these out. I have one of these little, but one of these connectors, quick connectors come out. But I gotta check what else I actually did on here too. So let me show what else you guys can actually, if you guys do have this, just put it right on the top. It should be good. And also keep this in mind that you guys also will need to also remove this. This is the bottom, bottom of the steering wheel column. And you guys also, we do have a big nut here. Big, is I believe it should be a 22 lug nut. 22 size. Uh, let me check. 22 or 20. So right now I have a 20. This is a 20 size lug nut. Let me check if it does. No, I was actually wrong. So it might be my 22, as I was saying earlier. 22 lug nut. I haven't done this, you guys, back in a while. So, so, so here it fits just good. And you guys also wanna at least have like. This is a half inch, half inch, and this is I have a I have it with a breaker bar, so you know, just put it inside, turn it, and keep this in mind. Make sure you guys do remember which is where you guys center all your steering wheel, because you guys wanna drive with this with a straight steering wheel, not with a crooked steering wheel. So once this once it's all loosened, just take it out. Okay, and this is a long night. Just make sure you guys put this in a good place, safe place. And let me just um actually let me just remove the lower steering wheel column cover. All right, you guys, and this is what you guys can see. Sorry, it's a little bit sunny right now, but so I just finished hooking it up, wiring it up. So like I said, my yellow right here. This is my positive. Red ones are negative, so I'll show you how you guys how I run it. So I basically I read some DIYs. The closest guy I could get to that explain it really pretty much pretty well is actually wrap it around. So you actually get like a this is like a um 12 gauge wire, 
and so you get maybe about like I recommend maybe about 12 inches of extra wire for each one just wrap it around the whole column and then like I said you have the green which is the positive and my other one is the ground so I actually I ground it down right to here to this one here this bolt this is actually a, a 12 millimeter bolt hex nut and both right here so this basically this one this right here this is connected to right here to adjust your steering your steering column all right you guys okay so we have everything all backed up so we actually are connected to everything like I said you guys make sure you guys pause the negatives right and let's go give it a try so well I'm at I'm just at home so don't mind it's gonna turn the car the car turn it on all the way so you can actually test it out you guys hear the horn so it works so just like that so simple as that um not not too much I would say it takes about maybe about maybe 10 15 minutes just to install this so for all you guys that's been asking about an NRG setup on a Tiburon so this is what I basically get got um, but I'll eventually will change this to actually maybe a quick release um, in the future but this is how it is the tutorial on how to actually install get you guys horn working I mean you know we will need it so this is what you guys got NRG so I well, hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching and don't forget you guys subscribe and you know we will do more DIYs you guys want any more car stuff so let me know you know me and Princess do, does a lot of stuff especially for car stuff just let us know and you know things like this DIYs it's pretty cool you know at least you guys get to share on the information that you guys know and don't forget to subscribe for more stuff alright hit us up